B3's boss, Mike Sands, says that the new Thomas A. Robinson National Stadium should be certified pretty soon by the governing body of track and field, IAAF. The track has not gotten a certification yet, but I wouldn't make too much ado out of it. But it's just a question of the planning process by the Ministry of Sports. And so we're waiting with an eager anticipation for that process to be completed, whereby we can go into the facilities. And hopefully, hopefully it'll happen by the national championships, which is also served as Olympic trials uh, in June. And so we're hoping that that will take place so we can test the new facility. You move and shake of track and field. You know exactly certification of a track like this, how long the process would take? Well, you know, um, the IWF appointed persons or approved persons will have to come in and do a lot of testing, including, you know, taking probably pieces of the track to test a lot of different areas, right? I mean, the width of the lanes, the, the circumference of the lane. There's a lot of little small things. It's like a house, you know, you get your occupancy permit after you've met certain criteria, right? And so that process is a formality. Now, if they come and they find that there may be some things wrong, then all they say to you, you have to do this checklist, that checklist, that checklist. There's level of certification, there's level one, there's level two, or class one, class two, and so we will meet some level of certification. It is hope that once they have done their checks and their inspection, that will meet the highest level, which is a class one, that gives you all the international competition. Um, it does not say that you cannot have the events, it's just that depending on the classification is what you are allowed to have. But I'm satisfied that, that the track was built to specs, and we're just hoping, as I said, that that process will help you take place so that we can really make plans to be over there. Is their work so detailed, I understand that even the parking lot around the stadium have to meet certification? Well, I cannot speak to the parking lot, uh, to be honest with you, because I'm not sure of that, but I know that there's a certain level of capacity. Uh, in general terms, you would expect to have X number of parking spaces based on your capacity, right? But I can speak specifically to the track, knowing that there's a process for the certification to take place. And I'm not, I'm not overly concerned that that will not happen. It's just a question of when.